The word data means many different things to people. Some perceive it as a test or quiz, while others look at it as something collected either before or after learning has occurred. In this module, we are going to be thinking of data as something that is continual, a tool that you are able to use to help guide students through their learning. Think of this as a type of ongoing information that's used to push students forward toward their learning goals. There are many different digital tools that WCPS has already purchased for you to use to collect and monitor student learning. In this module, we are going to explore how to use Stride Academy data to help change instruction. Stride Academy continuously evaluates each student in order to design a customized learning plan of foundational skill building and enrichment that is truly beneficial to their growth. Armed with perpetual data about each student's performance, you can easily align targeted practice and video instruction in Stride Academy or allow the FAST 360 Adaptive Engine to automatically chart a personalized online learning course. Meanwhile, you can also modify your own classroom instruction according to your individual student needs. Stride Academy's Custom Quiz Builder allows educators to create their own unit quizzes or interim assessments by selecting standards-aligned questions from their comprehensive database. Deploy quizzes to individual students, an entire class, or school-wide. Share quizzes with fellow teachers and enjoy the automatic scoring of results in real time. Lindley Paris, the education consultant from Stride Academy, is going to be joining us today in our module to help us to understand how to use data to personalize learning. If you would like to follow along with us, please pause this video and go to the File tab located at the top of your screen. Once you have selected File, select Open New Tab, and this will allow you to log into Stride and work along with us. Once you are ready, Unpause the video, select play, and Lindley will be joining you. Hello everyone, I am Lindley Paris. Um, I'm here with Stride, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to use Stride data to drive the instruction in your classroom. So what we're looking at here is the teacher dashboard. This is what will populate when you log into your teacher um, portal. This is information from every day. This is uh, information from your students working in the adaptive engine, from you know doing PMA or gap assessments. So what I want to point out to you is that all of these um, pie graphs you see here, all of the pieces are interactive. You can click on any one of these pieces to be led to a report. Here this leads you to the student grouping report. Those of you might um, be familiar with this know that it's very very useful. Um, and we just pulled that forward from our reports tab because it was one of the most used features that we have. So we wanted to help you out there. Um, so as you can see, this report organizes your students by standard and by performance on that standard. So it makes small groups for you, which is really nice. You can click on any one of these students' names to get to a list of PDF resources. These are the same ones that populate for the students in the student view, but um, teachers have access to the whole list. So you can use that. You can download these, print them, however you would like to use them is up to you. If you don't have a whole lot of time, I recommend that this dashboard be your uh, main stop. If you just want to see how your students are doing real quickly, you know, you need a little uh, formative information for yourself, um, stop here, click around on a couple things, and um, then you can be on your merry way. Take a minute to pause this module, open up your own Stride dashboard to look at and explore your current data. When you are ready, start this module again to continue on to learn about Quiz Builder. So, the last thing I'm going to talk to you about today is Quiz Builder because we talked about the dashboard, we talked about the reports. Those two um, tabs will gather data from the whole program, from the Fast360 Adaptive Engine, from the PMA and GAP assessments if you're using those. But the Quiz Builder keeps the quiz data in its own little house, I like to say. So if you want some clean data, this is a great way to um, take care of that. 
So I'm going to go to Northside Demo because that's already been completed. Um, and here you can see the information that you get after a quiz has been finished. So if you use that 0 to 100 grading scale, we've got some grades for the grade book, should you choose to do that. But what's really exciting here is this Reports tab. This, like I said, the Quiz Builder data stays in the little Quiz Builder house, and so the Quiz Builder reports will report only on the particular quiz that you are um, working with. So I'm going to show you this first report. The class and student report will show the uh, standard and the students and how many questions they got correct on this standard. So while we don't have a an actual student grouping report for quiz builder this is pretty close you can see pretty easily who needs to be pulled for that small group remediation so let's go back and look at the uh, breakdown by question um, this is pretty self-explanatory could lead to some good class discussions here and then finally i want to show you the student score details this lists everything, the student, their score, the question, the standard, the answer that the student gave versus the correct answer. Um, this is, a, again, a lot of legwork already done for you. You can get into some item analysis here, but if you just scroll down, you can see everybody in your class's um, uh, performance. So I hope that you will click around and um, look into using Quiz Builder and our reports as um, a way to use the data from Stride to drive your instruction again. Take a minute to pause the module and open up your own Stride Quiz Builder. If you have already created and given a quiz, then take a minute to explore the data. If you haven't used Quiz Builder, then take some time to create a quiz that you could give to students. After you have given it to those students, come back to the module to take another look at how to use the Quiz Builder data to drive your instruction. It was nice of Lindley to join us to share how we can use Stride data to adjust instruction. To review what we discussed in this module, remember that the dashboard is a quick feature that provides immediate results that can lead to on-the-spot instructional changes in our classroom. The Quiz Builder is a great tool to construct quick assessments and get immediate results on specific standards. Overall, Stride is a great way to engage students in learning, but also collect the needed data to make important on-the-spot instructional changes.